A twig snapped behind her, followed by a disappointed grunt, and Atia spun her head around to see. A halfling stood next to the tent. No halflings! Elsvinner is an elf, Yulin is a dwarf. Apparently, a halfling made my story too much like Lord of the Rings, so my mom said no. Welcome back to the world of Meltar. Today we muse about Nimlins. Nimlins. Quite possibly my favorite humanoids in the entire fantasy genre, if I may say so myself, which I can, because actually I didn't make them up. After I murdering one of my favorite characters, my mom made up a new species on the spot and introduced me to the Nimlins. Atia twisted around, fearing the worst, only to get the shock of her life. It was a Nimlin, taller than a dwarf, but shorter than a human. The creature stood alone in the world of sizes. The Nimlins had originated from the south, descendants of wild men and woodland fairies. The story was that centuries ago, men from one of the many barbarian tribes set out in a hunting party and became lost in a thick forest. They were found by the fairies, beautiful, elusive creatures who dwelt in the woods and were taken in, remaining with them ever after. Their children resembled human and fairy. In frame and features, they took after their mothers, with dark skin and hair like green meadow grass. They were thin and fast, but as an inheritance from their fathers, they were innately strong and fierce, with a love of battle and hunting. While Atia knew they had magic, she could not say what sort of magic it was. Meldrin is our Nimblin from Keepers of Fire. He is one of Atia's companions. I won't spoil all his surprises. You'll learn Nimblin details from Keepers of Fire, that you won't learn in this video, but you'll also learn stuff from this video that you won't learn from Keepers of Fire. And obviously there will be some overlap. Like I read, Nimlins are descended from humans and fairies. Their home is Lanley, a massive magical forest. They are fond of music and have a reputation for mischief, but also for a fierce loyalty to their friends and family. Within every Nimlin burns an innate protectiveness for their ancestral mothers. For Lanley is not all music and fun. Fairies are not the only fae. Sirens lurk, as evil as the fairies are good, luring in unlucky travelers with their haunting beauty and bewitching songs. Though the fairies are immune to their spell, sirens are quick and will catch and eat a fairy if they can. However, Nimlins are also immune to a siren spell, making them effective guardians. An odd fact about Nimlins is that they too have a song, male and female. They can lull a person to sleep. It is effective on victims of either gender, unlike Bath of the Sirens. The oddity about this talent, though, is that Nimlins are ashamed of it. They don't like to talk about it, and they rarely practice it. It reminds them too much of the Sirens. Thus, unless you have seen this occur, or possibly had it done to you, even close friends of Nimlins probably have never heard of it. Nimlins have another power. They can soothe aches and bruises. This power is well known. They share it freely. Headaches, bruises, fever aches, any kind of ache, and Nimlin can heal by the touch of their hands. They cannot heal the affliction. Their touch is a type of painkiller. Nimlins can speak telepathically with animals, after a fashion. It's not in-depth conversation. Rather, a Nimlin can convince an animal to go here or there and perform simple tasks. Most animals love Nimlins, but if ever an animal got unfriendly, a Nimlin can kill one instantly by shutting down its brain. Dark, I know. But as Meldrin said, uh, this method causes no pain, so if it's gotta be done, it may as well be done painlessly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, um, please give it a like. If you've got any questions, write them in the comments. Um, get to know the Nimlins even better, of course, by reading Keepers of Fire. Um, grab it on Amazon. Um, it's also ebook versions are available on Barnes and Noble um, and uh, a variety of other places. Check out my last musing video on the great houses where we talk about lord pathros who's devastatingly awesome and handsome so you should definitely watch that or listen to some of the music thanks for watching and have a lovely day